Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Elder Kings for CK2. So, I've reloaded, and uh, apparently we have the C underscore worth sh warship description for the Cult of Sithilatut. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, I patched the game, and so there's some new things. I, I did read them, but I don't remember them at this moment. So, I know, actually, there was one, the expanded plot list. That happened. This was, this was uh, expanded, I think. Maybe. Fairly certain that it's bigger now. I'll have to check. But it feels bigger, doesn't it? it feels bigger to me. I think it should still be even bigger. But, um... We were trying to kidnap that silly woman who doesn't like us. This one. Because we can. Or was it this one? Kidnap the Count. Let's kidnap the Count. Probably be better. Gonna make some people like us. Who was the woman that we were just trying to plot? against oh well doesn't matter okay well we're gonna play a bit and see how things go I really do want to experiment with buildings check check them out let's see if these got upgraded at all nope, they look to be about the same there's apparently two castles in this province my plot is ruined that dude knows all about my plot sad times the fact that that other province that other holding is a barony makes me want to revoke it quite a lot. That would be fantastic if we had two castles in one province that we could then do stuff with. In fact, we are his heir, so let's cancel that plot and try to kill him before his wife spits out a baby. We can kill him 152% or we can kidnap him. Let's try to kill him. Just a good old-fashioned vanilla kill plot. Sounds like a great idea. Yes, we don't have enough money for a steed. No surprise there. It's a lot of money. You have to have quite a bit to be able to do that plot. We don't seem to have any kind of religious decisions that we can do, which is a little bit disappointing, only because I'm used to there being other things. We have discovered some ebony deposits. Two tax income. That's pretty awesome. So that means that all three of these benefit from that. So we go up to 4.5. I really like how that works. It also seems like it makes the collect taxes decision to be quite useless in comparison. Because the vast majority of these survey provinces seem to be good. Like, if we go through the list, Aliad Ruins are good. Game is running, by the way. I'm not just totally wasting time. So, Aliad Ruins, good. Dwemer Ruins, good. Moonstone Deposits, good. Precious Metal Deposits, good. Glass is good. Ebony, good. Or, or, or a Chalcom, good. Gemstones, good. Depleted Deposits, bad. Steward Accosted by Bandits is bad. Treasure Discovered, or sorry, Bandit Hall Discovered is good. It's good. It means that you get some new stuff. Treasure discovered, good. Peasants attack the steward, bad. So there's like three bad ones out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So three bad out of 13. So, like, why would you take a 45 or just not even a 45? 32% increase in taxes based on your steward's stewardship. Or a 10 out of 13 chance of getting something really, really, really fantastically good. Like a 32% increase in income compared to taking the base tax from 2.5 to 4.5, which one's better? It's just it's just way better. Apparently we can throw this queen into prison since she is part of a plot. What is your little plot? We've got a dude, the Count of Zahedan, trying to fabricate a cling claim on the minor kingdom. This is the guy that hates us. So we don't even need a kill plot, we can just, just imprison him. Let's just imprison him, let's just do it. He's raised his flag and rebellion. He probably doesn't even have any troops raised yet. Or replenished yet. Okay, so we'll gather our dudes together. We had in-command happen to us. My ambition is still not to have a son. It's to obtain an artifact, which somebody mentioned, I think, in the comments that it's an incomplete plot. That uh, it's not really guaranteed to happen. I'm hoping we capture some prisoners and we'll just like steal one from them. That's kind of what I was thinking we would do initially. Open spellbook. Close spellbook. It's the, it's the most sad spellbook in the world. Okay, so yes, we'll take that from you. We'll throw you into prison as well. Do you have any uh, artifacts? No, but you're a cartog... Give me your map. I want your map. Interesting that the cartographer has move speed. Kind of makes sense. He knows his way about the land. So prisoner decisions. Let's go look at that. What can we do to you? We can castrate you. Can we even revoke titles? Do we have the allow... Are we allowed to? Yes, we are. Cool. 
And since he's a traitor, it doesn't affect us in any way, but he does have 16, mm, just 16 ducats. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we'll just take it from him. And since we're below our, or at our domain limit, we'll hold on to this as well. Not really the best province, but, you know. And we have the closed prisoner decisions decision. Why do we have to release him? I insist. Why Why do I have to release someone that I castrate? It just doesn't seem like... I mean, I want to, I want to do it. I want to castrate him and then keep him in prison. And we don't have the ability to banish him. His liege is some random, complete, completely random guy from over there. We'll just keep him in prison for now. Okay, and then the other person was uh, Queen Lyri, my wife. She is trying to kidnap Oat. Who's Oat? The court spy. Why are you doing that, woman? What are you, what are you thinking? Um, stop it. Just, just stop it. This, that reminds me, did we ever see a, uh, a pardon button? Like, the ability to pardon someone that's flagged as a traitor? I would love to see that happen. And, uh, now we can apparently imprison this woman. She is trying to seduce me. Join plot. <laughs> Fire the plot. Fire the missiles. <laughs> like, why? Make decisions. Sleep with her. Visit her chambers. I guess we tell her to... No, we, I mean, we could have... We don't have any children. She's a bit slow and craven, but um, ambitious. How can you be slow and ambitious at the same time? Seems like they should be opposite. Anyway. We'll, we'll just ignore her. Let's pardon her. Covert actions. I need to appoint a spy. I knew that. My co-conspirator is trying to do... What? Kill our Baron? Excellent. Wonderful. A group of hedge knights have come to visit our duchy. Welcome them with a lavish feast. Welcome them reluctantly. Well, it seems like a pretty good trade. They've participated in a minor tourney. I think we give away another one ducat. And we've inherited a duchy, and it's a tragic accident as far as anyone is concerned. So this is fantastic for us because we get the owner marshal skill plus 10% applied to both. We get the capital county uh, plus 50% applied to both. And we get the trained troops applied to both. So this castle suddenly becomes far more effective and, uh, yeah, it, it's just, it's better. We might not be as good as the previous guy was, actually. Oh, he was murdered on the orders of King Denaton. Why, if it said that it was a tragic accident as far as anyone is concerned, why does it say that we did it? And he actually had higher troops a second ago than we do because he apparently had a higher martial score, but that's not a big deal. Still better for us to have the land. Now, unfortunately, our domain limit is now exceeded with our stupid stewardship. So perhaps we should just give this one away to some other guy again. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. We will appoint a new guy. I feel like steward. It's just still not good enough. We need to do employment list, hire a steward. And I still want a pop-up telling me who you just hired. It just reminds me of the uh, flying spaghetti monster. That's what that looks like to me. Well, I guess we, we give land to that, that guy. I mean, why not? He is our religion. He is all of those things. Let's just give him that province. And he likes us quite a bit after having given him a... some, you know, given him the county. A little upset with us for having fired him from the council at one point. He'll probably want to get married and... Whoa, he, interesting. He wants to be Marshal. With seven Marshal score. That's one of those things where they should probably have like a, a lower bound. Like they have to have at least, say, ten Marshal. Or twelve Marshal score to actually take on that ambition. Because otherwise it's just a waste of time. Like the AI is too stupid to realize they would never, ever, ever become Marshal with seven, Marshall. Yay, my wife is pregnant. That's fantastic. I hope we uh, get to play this character for a while. Choose a new plot. Let's be friends. Sure. 
Friends seem like a good thing. Apparently we can now throw my wife into prison yet again. Now she is trying to fabricate a claim on the Minor Kingdom. Rally support against the other vassals of King Denaton. This woman is is a bit um she's just not very smart, you know, like she's like, Oh hi husband, let's sleep together. Um, by the way, I'm trying to rally support to overthrow you, even though we're in a regular marriage and our kids are of the same dynasty and it doesn't benefit me in any way whatsoever. I want to be the queen. I want to be the duchess, you know. So stop it. Base reluctance or she's not even willing to stop. Okay. I guess we could throw our own wife in prison. <laughs> Cause our child to die. Is it considered tyrannical to throw our wife in prison? Let's throw her in prison. Yes, excellent. <laughs> our child shall be born in jail. Let's go on a hunt. Alright, so we've got some pretty... Eh, kind of crap crap talent, or uh, traits. Hey, we can become diligent. We lose slothful. We don't have slothful, so why does it say lose slothful? Oh well. We pick up diligent. Pretty cool. Peasants will finish it. Or I shall face it alone with my spear. We're not currently craven. In fact, we're brave, so we definitely don't want to become craven because that's the opposite of brave. We have to risk getting wounded. I'm out in the woods and I see a mighty stag. What are the odds? Get noble heart or a chance of getting maimed in the leg. Well, it's only a small chance. I feel like that chance to increase martial score is a bit low, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. Noble heart for a year? Sure. Spare its majesty. Do you want to become raw? That's the opposite of patient, so we would lose patient, and patient gives some fantastic modifiers to defense. At least it doesn't, uh... Interesting. In vanilla, it gives plus 20% defense bonus. In this, it doesn't appear to give any bonus. Roth, on the other hand, gives quite a bit more martial. Shall we sacrifice everything else in favor of more martial? I think yes. <laughs> I, like, I like combat. So let's see, does Roth actually affect anything? No, it doesn't. If it did, it would say it, wouldn't it? That's right. Um, this time, let's risk getting wounded. Yes, we didn't get wounded. 18 Marshall now. We're becoming Fredegar. It's pretty exciting. And we have a son who is uh, of the sun. He's ill, probably because he was born in prison. Not actually, but... Uh, let's name him after ourselves. We'll name him Denaton the Second. He shall be known as Denaton the Second. Let's have a feast. We're spending all of our money on things that don't really matter, aren't we? And we can build something. We can build a gambling room. No description. None of these things are probably gambling description, so I won't call that out. These things all seem kind of weak. Land organization is something that even in vanilla CK2 makes very little sense. I feel like that tooltip needs to be more specific. Like, what the hell is land organization? You know, like, I think they talk about it in the technology tree. In vanilla CK2, in one of these things, somewhere. But it's just like, what what does that even mean, you know? So, um, it's a lot of kidnap plots. Hmm. I think we save up for... Wow, reinforced stone wall, plus 1.5 fort level. That's a lot. I want to get something that gives us more men. So we just need 148 ducats, and we'll build a barracks. As we continue to spend more and more money. I will hunt for the boars myself, get bloodlust. I don't think we have bloodlust yet. No, we don't. But we do have 14 magicka and no spells to cast. 5% chance of wounded... Let's take that risk. Okay, so let's see. Can we send our guy to, like, do something that will give us more abilities to cast spells? Like, why do we have 14 Magicka if we have no spells? How did that happen? I don't understand that. 
And somebody also had mentioned in the comments, I think it was someone related to the Elder Scrolls or Elder King's uh, development team, mentioned that the this mission here is dependent upon the education path of your your guy. So since we have a mage, he's able to do consult the grimoires. If we had a um, a alchemist, then it'd be something different. This guy's actually better, and he's our vassal, so. Let's uh, appoint him, and uh, there we go. Yeah, so right away, it changes. It changed right away. This guy, since he is a monk, is able to heal. Send your magister to a province to heal the wounded and cure the diseased. That's pretty cool how it uh, it's different. I don't have any idea exactly how the morale improvements would work. Does that only improve morale in the troops raised from that province, or is it like a, a countrywide modifier? And if it is just for the province, then it seems like a fairly weak buff. Like, let's say I have a province or a kingdom of, like, 20, 20 provinces, and I send my guy to heal, and, you know, the morale is useless. I mean, let's just do the levy, just make it more levy re reinforcement rate, I think. There's also apparently a couple outcomes you can get. Um, they can heal, disease resistance, epidemic treated, magister gets infected. Um... So that other guy was pretty good, though. Piety gained. Magister is trampled by the mob. That seems pretty high for someone with 17 martial, or 17 learning. Let's do heal just to see if we can maybe, I don't know, see what the event does. While searching for a lost chalice, I came upon a band of rogues who robbed me. Those bastards. We shall spend lavishly and invite all of the people in our realm. And you, sir, do you uh, do you want to become my guy? Do you want to? I mean, I'll totally offer you vassalization. There we go. Now they're scared of me. This guy, though, doesn't like the fact that I have a foreign culture. How many men do you have? I've been practicing. I know you have 19 martial, but I have 20. I'm better than you are. My army is fierce. We can raise 1,100 men, and again, I've forgotten now. You have what? 700? Looks like we can take you. Let's wait till we get Namian. To say yes. He's sworn fealty. He likes us okay. The short reign penalty just started, so perhaps we can uh, make him cupbearer. I'm assuming cupbearer made him like us better, right? Yeah, good. And uh, this this woman here, my wife, who I threw in prison, she's a little upset with me for having thrown her in prison. Boo hoo. Um, we could just execute her. 70 gold. Well, we could ransom her back to herself. That seems like a great idea. Thanks for the money, woman. <laughs> give me all of your money. Um, she could still like us even further. Maybe we'll give a little bit of her money back. We'll make her chief quaddy. Sure. We'll also give you honors. We want her to like us because that way... Oh, you know what? If we actually make her steward, she would have improved stewardship. Would increase. Which? Hey, our stewardship went up. Yeah. What if we temporarily make her steward, just to make her stewardship go up, and uh, then we'll fire her, because of reasons. So now she's going to like us, but dislike us, fired from council, but fulfilled ambition. So we, we lose five opinion, but she has higher stewardship, which affects our domain limit, which is good, because I think we're going to lose one of these modifiers here, and our domain limit will go back down to two. Yeah, this one, the blood dust. Maybe now he's willing to accept. No? Well, we can raise a few more men. Become gregarious. We are already gregarious. Let's make our wife like us. Come on, I have general opinion plus five. You bastard. Well, time, times are, are looking good. Let's declare the war. We'll declare the conquest. That way we get control of the land. Um, although he had some money and we might want that. And I think I'm going to go here. And I'll take a, a uh, short break and then I will see you, I hope, in the next video. A little bit tongue-tied today. Kind of strange. But I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.